The United States House of Representatives recently passed a bill that could lead to TikTok being banned in the country. The bill got strong support from both sides, with 352 votes in favor and 65 against. Now, it moves to the Senate for further consideration. President Joe Biden has indicated he's willing to sign it into law, which could give TikTok's Chinese owner, ByteDance, six months to sell off its US assets or face a ban. But why all the fuss? Well, it boils down to worries about ByteDance having ties to the Chinese government. US lawmakers fear TikTok might be collecting data from its 170 million American users, possibly putting national security at risk. ByteDance insists it's separate from the Chinese government, and the CEO of TikTok is visiting Captain Hill on a pre-planned trip to address the senator's concerns. Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers thinks this bill gives TikTok a clear decision to make. However, critics think it was rushed and doesn't really solve the problem. They're also worried it could limit free speech. For instance, Representative Barbara Lee wants broader rules to protect people's privacy, not just singling out one company. Before the House voted, lawmakers had a private meeting to discuss TikTok's security risks. TikTok and its supporters, including content creators, don't like how the process was done behind closed doors and see it as a ban. They're worried about how it could impact the economy, small businesses, and the millions of Americans who use TikTok. The fate of TikTok now lies in the hands of the Senate. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer will work with committee chairs to decide on the bill's next steps. Bipartisan leader from the U.S. Senate, intelligence committees are committed about its passage. For now, TikTok remains available in the U.S., but if the bill becomes law, ByteDance will have only six months to sell off its U.S. assets or risk being banned. Legal challenges are expected, as ByteDance might resist the forced sale. They'd have to appeal within 165 days of the bill becoming law. It's worth noting that a previous attempt to ban TikTok at the state level was blocked by a U.S. judge following a lawsuit from the company.